Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear listeners, today I will tell you some important information about Eid al-Adha. In Islam, there are two key Eids. Eid al-Fitr, which signifies the completion of the holy month of Ramadan. Eid al-Adha, commonly called as Greater Eid, which follows the completion of the annual Hajj pilgrimage at the time of Qurbani. Eid al-Adha is a sign and devotion of Prophet Ibrahim's one of noble action that is to sacrifice his son Ismail alayhi salam for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, at the very point of sacrifice, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaced Ismail alayhi salam with a ram which was to be slaughtered in place of his son. Dear friends, do you know that this command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was actually a test of Prophet Ibrahim's willingness and commitment to obey his Lord's command without any question. In fact, Quran mentions it clearly in Surah Safat, ayat number 104 to 106. Translation, and then we called him out. Ibrahim, you did make the dream come true. This is how we reward those who are good indeed. This was indeed a trial that clearly demonstrated their obedience. Therefore, Eid al-Adha means the festival of sacrifice. Time for Qurbani. The act of Qurbani is carried out following the Eid Salah, which are performed in congregation at the nearest mosque or Eidgah on the morning of Eid. The act of Qurbani is considered of slaughtering a, a animal as a sacrifice to mark this occasion in remembrance of Prophet Ibrahim's sacrifice for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What will you do to meet after Qurbani? The Qurbani meat can be divided into three equal portions per share. One third is for you and your family, one third is for your friends, and the final third is to be donated to those in need. So friends, enjoy this Eid, do Qurbani and seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's willingness and pleasure. Eid Mubarak to all of you. 